Hi everyone, welcome back to Smart Learners. Today our topic for discussion is linear programming. So let's get started with the introduction of linear programming. Linear programming or optimization is a process to obtain the best results. That is either to increase your profit or to minimize your loss with concerning to a mathematical model. Here, the requirements are represented by means of the linear relationship. Linear programming deals with the optimization of a function or variable known as objective functions. It is subjected to a set of linear inequalities and equalities known as constraints. So these are the basic terminologies which you have to understand which we will be discussing very soon. So linear programming is a mathematical technique which basically involves the allocation of limited resource in an optimal manner on the basis of given criteria of optimality. So first term that we should understand are nothing but variables. They are also called as decision variables. So these variables usually represent things that can be adjusted or controlled. Example, the values or the variable values are usually unknown when a problem is started. So for that, example, the cost or rate involved during manufacturing of a product is literally unknown. Here we have a goal that is to find the value of the variable that provide the best value to the object function. So what is an objective function? It is a mathematical expression that combines the variables to indicate the requirement. It may express or represent the profit in some cases. So example, we might require either to maximize or minimize uh, the objective function train. These are mathematical expressions that combine the variables to express the limitation that are with the possible solution. So when we have a solution to be formed, what will be the limitations on that? What are the constraints on that? Or what are the objections on that? Those are represented using constraint. Example, they may express the idea that the number of workers available to operate a particular machine is limited or the amount of raw materials available for production on a particular day that has been limited. So these all are your constraints. So let's start with the steps for formulation of linear programming problems. Our first step is to write down the decision variables of the problem. Next is to formulate the objective function to be optimized. Here is where we make the decision either we are going to maximize or to minimize for the given variables based on the objective function as a linear function of decision variables. So whether we are going to maximize or minimize the decision is taken in the second step. Third step is to formulate the other constraints and conditions of the problem such as the resource limitation, market constraints, interrelationship between variables etc. as a linear inequalities or equations in terms of decision variables. So first we talk about the decision variables, we write down them. Second, we make the decision either we are going to maximize or minimize the objective function. Third is you are going to do something related to the constraints. You are going to write down all the constraints that have been mentioned. So coming to the fourth step, to add the non-negativity constraint from the consideration so that the negative values of decision variables do not have any physical interpretations. So overall, the objective function is a set of constraints and non-negative restrictions together form a linear programming problem. So this is a question, let me read it out for you. A manufacturer produces two types of models, M1 and M2. Each model of the type M1 requires four hours of grinding and two hours of polishing. Whereas each model of type M2 requires two hours of grinding and five hours of polishing. The manufacturer has two grinders and three polishes. Each grinder works 40 hours a week and each polisher works for 60 hours a week. Profit on M1 model is rupees 3 and on model M2 is rupees 4. Whatever is produced in a week is sold in the market. How should the manufacturer allocate his production capacity to the types of models so that he make the maximum profit in a week? So here in the given question, we have to consider there are two types of models M1 and M2. That is going to be our decision variable basically. And there are two operations to be worked on. One is grinding and one more polishing. Our first step is to find the decision variables. Here M1 and M2 are the two models that have been mentioned in the question. Therefore, our decision variables will be X1 and X2, which will be the number of units for M1 and M2 models. Second step is to find the objective function. Here we are being asked to maximize the profit for the manufacturer. Therefore, 
we are using max z why we use max z because we have been asked to maximize the profit 3x1 plus 4x2 where did we get this so 3 is nothing but the profit given for model 1 and 4 is nothing but the profit given for n2 that's why we have taken we have asked to increase the profit so we have to take the profit values here therefore max z is equals to 3x1 plus 4x2 we write here x1 because it's a coefficient for m1 and x2 for m2 so these are the values which have been given for each model our third step is to find the constraints there are two constraints one for grinding and other one for the polishing so the number of grinders available on each grinder for one week is 40 and how many number of grinders are given two grinders are given therefore the manufacturer does not have more than 2 into 40 that is 80 hours for grinding how do we get this 2 and 40? 40 is nothing but the maximum number of hours available for grinding and 2 is nothing but number of grinders available. So the maximum grinding possible is for 80 hours. Okay. Therefore, M1 requires 4 hours of grinding and M2 requires 2 hours of grinding. So that is what is given in the question. What is given? So the grinding constraint is given by 4x1 plus 2x2 which cannot be greater than 80. So that means now it's time to check out the constraint for polishing. They are given 3 polishes and the total time available for polishing in a week is 60. So for three poly for one polisher it is 60 therefore for three polishers it will be 3 into 60 is 180 hours of polishing fine so m1 requires two hours of polishing and m2 requires five hours of polishing therefore we have 2x1 plus 5x2 less than or equivalent to 180 this 180 is total number of uh, polishing hours given for all the polishes which have been present here finally we have max z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 this is our objective function where 3 is the profit amount given for m1 and 4 is the profit amount given for m2 okay subject to we mentioned subject to whenever there is a constraint that has been present here so what is the constraint given first constraint is for grinding second constraint is for polishing 4x1 plus 2x2 is greater than or less than equal to 80 where did we get this it's 4x1 is nothing but number of hours available for grinding for m1 and 2 is nothing but number of hours of grinding for m2 and both this they were uh, this is the total time for all the grinders available next is for polishing again 2x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 80 so mention that x1 and x2 is always greater than 0 to mention that there, are, there is no negativity in the equation let's rewrite the formulation once again for the same problem for better understanding of the formulation so it's very 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 important to go through the question number of times until you are clear with the content what they have given in the question so i suggest you to read the question twice or thrice and understand the content what they are trying to provide you and what they want you to formulate for sometimes they might ask you to even minimize sometimes they might ask you to maximize and uh, so in the given question they are telling that there are two models so what are those two models m1 and m2 write down them first there are two models given we have returned them as m1 and m2 coming to the step one we have to find the decision variables so there are two models here so we are going to take two variables okay write down those two variables so we have written those two variables as x1 and x2 respectively okay then they are telling that two operations are happening one is polishing and one more is grinding so please mention those operations so we have written those two operations as well grinding and polishing both we have mentioned now they are telling the total number of hours available and the total number of uh, machines available for that particular process so let's write that down see in the question they are mentioning that for m1 they have four hours of grinding and two hours of polishing so for m1 how many hours of grinding is given four and for polishing two so write it down so we are finished with the number of hours for grinding and polishing here next they have given for model m2 requires two hours of grinding and five hours of polishing m2 requires two hours of grinding and five hours of polishing let's read the next line the manufacturer has two grinders and three polishes very important to find the total number of machines available 
so each grinder works 40 hours a week so what we should do each grinder means one grinder works for 40 hours therefore two grinder works for how many hours so 2 into 40 will give you 80 hours because it is 40 hours here okay same way they have also told that each polisher works for 60 hours a week so how many polishers are there three polishers are there so each means one works for 60 hours therefore three works for 180 hours okay so we, are we clear with what they have given two works for 80 hours and three works for 180 hours they have also told that the profit for m1 model is three and four for m2 model so we have to take that profit into consideration so that they have asked us to maximize the profit in a week for model m m1 that is three and for m2 it is four so as i've told number of times the first step is to write our decision variables so our second step is to write the objective function i've written max z is equals to 3x1 plus 4x2 where does this come from 3x1 is nothing but for model m1 3 rupees is the profit and 4 rupees is the profit for model 2 that's why we have written 3x1 plus 4x2 now our next step is to write the constraints so on what basis we are going to write constraint on these basis this values and total number of values so now we are written constraints 4x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 80 how we got this for grinding operation we have x1 value as 4 x2 value as 2 and total number of hours available as 80 so keeping all these things in mind we have written the first constraint okay the next constraint is for polishing so the number of hours for m1 is 2 for m2 is 5 and total number of hours available is 180 so keeping that all in mind we have written our constraint finally we have to write our objective function we know what is it 3x1 plus 4x2 subject to when do we write subject to whenever we are mentioning a constraint that time we mention subject to we write 4x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 80 and 2x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 180 where we also should maintain x1 and x2 are always greater than 0 or equal to 0 they are never negative so this is how we are supposed to conclude our uh, linear programming problem formulation Thank you so much for watching this video please like this video share this with your friends if you found it useful uh, comment down below for any suggestions uh, check out the description for some more videos related on operations research please subscribe to my channel like this video comment share and thank you so much for watching